Alrighty, here's part two of the bookcases, or bookcase tour, rather. Um, it's basically these two shelves and the very top shelf. Um, okay, here we go. This shelf is basically magazines and occasional newspapers. Time magazine, all the Time magazines that I've had, because I had a subscription to Time at one time. It's probably since um canceled but yeah you know that's all time magazines that i have uh this one's deaths that shocked the world remembering kurt cobain this has to be life magazine and time life i guess it's all the same as far as i'm concerned uh life books book about dogs book about cats or uh, magazine about dogs and cats um i should say Remembering Michael Jackson, I think that was People Magazine. George Michael, Tribute, People Magazine, same thing for Prince. Um, there's one in between here. Yeah, that was also Prince, too. It was another Prince Tribute Magazine over here from People. Celebrate the 70s, I've had that for a while. These in between, I don't know if you can see it, National Geographic. I got in these from work, too. Uh, these are all my Rolling Stone magazines. These are the new issues, new issues, because they made them larger. They basically brought back the old format of Rolling Stone because it used to be this large at one time. So they basically brought it back. Um, then in between those are the other issues from a few years back. Uh, this one with Lana Del Rey. This is a Rolling Stone book, the 90s, basically about the whole entire era and the artists that changed that era, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, by the editors of Rolling Stone, basically a tribute to Kurt Cobain and different special edition or collector's edition issues of Rolling Stone magazine. Um, one about John Lennon, one about Mick Jagger, which was recently, I think it was, um, during his birthday that they had these. Uh, David Bowie, Madonna, The Who, and then, of course, 500 Greatest Songs of All Time and 100 Greatest Hip Hop Songs. Questionable choices, some of them. Um, but once again, to each their own. This is actually... From the Unity Tour of the Jacksons. Um, and I was still living in Coney Island. They actually had a tour. Uh, they, they had a concert that I went to for only $5. And yeah, one, one of the best concerts I've ever went to in my whole entire life. All right, from the Editors of Essence, a tribute to Maya Angelou. This was a tribute newspaper. From New York Post for Aretha. Um, Essence Magazine tribute issue to Aretha. Um, rest in peace to Aretha. I still can't believe it. Essence Magazine Black Women in Hollywood issue. And then a couple of Essence Magazines here. Um, then I got a couple of Ebony Magazines here. This was Savoy Magazine with Chadwick Boseman and the most influential blacks in corporate America. Really good magazine. Esquire Magazine with Chadwick Boseman on it. Oops, didn't mean to drop that. Yep. Um, this is Chadwick Boseman's woo! <laughs> uh, Black Panther Magazine cover. Or Rolling Stone, Lord have mercy. Uh, Red Bulletin magazine that basically had RZA on it. I have the Time magazine cover with Chadwick Boseman on there too, somewhere squeezed in here. In Style magazine with Janet Jackson. Uh, Centennial magazine with Prince and Pink Floyd. I have Newsweek special edition about The Simpsons. The 1980s, Ultimate Guide to the Avengers, I think that's Entertainment Weekly, uh, one about Prince for Newsweek, is it? Oh, no, no, no. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Prince, uh, uh, Hollywood Spotlight, about the Avengers. Yeah, this is different, like, miscellaneous magazines here. Um, sweet water issues with different gears, like, for your drums and guitar and all that. HGTV magazine and miscellaneous newspapers and magazines. Okay. Top shelf. The Hip Hop Raised Me book. Oops, and I ended up dropping something else. Uh, really good book. It's expensive. It's about $65, but it's a really good book. This is the book that I was talking about in an earlier, earlier video that I really wanted. Ended up snagging it. Check the Technique Volume 2, Volume 1. I finally finished Volume 1. Have yet to finish Volume 2. Of course, the Wu-Tang Manual by the RZA. My Journey to the Wu-Tang Clan. You God. You God's new memoir, which I have yet to read. I still got to read this shit. Uh, basically, the book about Old Dirty Bastard that I showed in one of my earlier videos on YouTube. The Tao of Wu by the RZA. Bone Metal Blues by Questlove. Rosa Groove for the Concrete by Tupac. That Uptown Saturday Night book I had showed at one of my last videos about Camp Low. Finally finished that one. Century of Jazz. I've showed this book before. Miles Davis's book, Unlocking the Truth. That group that consisted of... Let me see. Those three black teenagers that play metal. This is kind of like the autobiography in a way. Uh, a pretty good book. Uh, I've read half of it. Still have read the other half. I showed this book before. What are you doing here? Really good book. I don't think I showed this one. The Lost Gospels according to Al Jorgensen. Ministry. This was a really good book too, but it was pretty disturbing. Because of his heroin addiction and all his other stuff in between. So it, it, was, it was a really good book nevertheless. Slash's autobiography. Collaboration with Anthony Boza. I still have yet to read this book. Once again, I have a lot of books on here that I have yet to read because of I have so many books. So it's kind of hard to finish all these books all at once. But I still got to pick this one up too. I did finish Lemmy's autobiography, White Line Fever. Very good. Same thing with Ozzy Osbourne's autobiography. I love this fucking book too. And I read it. When I was reading it, I felt like like I could hear Ozzy's voice as I was turning the pages. It's just an awesome fucking book. Billy Idol, Dancing With Myself. Another good autobiography slash memoir. Reckless, My Life as a Pretender, Chrissy Hind. Another classic book. Uh, Johnny Rotten's two autobiographies. His first one, Rotten. No blacks, no Irish, no dogs. Oh, no Irish, no black, no dogs. No offense to anybody, but that's that's the title of the book. Uh, I finished this book a long time ago. Very good fucking book. This was his newer one. Anger is an energy, my life uncensored. I have yet to read this one. Um, but, of course, I had to get it because I, I love the Sex Pistols. I love classic music, love punk. So, there you go. And here's a book about punk, Please Kill Me. I've read some of it. I still got to finish this book. A book about CBGBs, which was basically a small venue that was in that was in Manhattan. Sorry, I'm kind of tired, so my mind is all the way uh, all over the place. But yeah, basically a place where a lot of punk bands got their start. Unfortunately, it's since closed down. I think they turned it to something like a store or something like that. I forgot, but it's just fucked up what they're doing with Manhattan. They just get rid of a lot of things they shouldn't be getting rid of and replacing it with crap. That's just my opinion, you know. But anyways, Scar Tissue by Anthony Kiedis. I finished it a while ago, a long time ago, rather. Who I Am by Pete Townshend. I've yet to finish this book myself. Um... Room Full of Mirrors. Charles R. Cross wrote this about Jimi Hendrix. I finished this book. Really good book. 
Woodstock Revisited. I still have to finish this book, too. It's basically about people and their different experiences at Woodstock. Very good book. Girl in the Band. Um, this is a hardcover book. I had bought this online. The person failed to tell me that there was no freaking dust jacket to it. So instead, after that, I bought the paperback version of it. Very good book. Here's a book about Joe Strummer that I have yet to read. Uh, I don't know what this is. Oh, some miscellaneous Barnes & Noble stuff. These are DVDs that I have. Some of them I've shown before, and I bought some recently. Um, Jason's Lyric, Love and a Bullet, and Book of Love, The Definitive Reason Why Men Are Dogs. I bought these recently. Uh, Love and a Bullet was a movie that Tretch from Naughty by Nature was in. Same thing with this movie. I didn't see this movie yet. I saw the trailer. Book of Love, I mean. But Love and a Bullet, I've seen a couple of times. And, of course, I had to have that in my collection. Shout out to Tretch. Shout out to Naughty by Nature. I'm actually going to go see Naughty by Nature this summer. So I'm very excited about that. But, yeah. Uh, now, let me try to go up here. This is basically my Zane books. <laughs> Uh, I have Sex Chronicles 1. It's actually on my bed. But um, <laughs> this is Sex Chronicles 2. The Other Side of the Pillow and Vengeance. I've read... Well, I didn't read Sex Chronicles 2 yet. But I've read these two. Very good book. Vengeance was crazy, though. That was a really crazy fucking book. Maureen Dowd on Men Necessary. When Sexes Collide. This book was given to me by somebody. I forgot who gave it to me. But I gotta read this book, too. But... Uh, yeah. Uh, The Little Black Book of Dirty Jokes. Don't ask. Uh, there's basically a cup full of bookcases. Uh, let me move these, let me try to move these DVDs out the way and show what's behind here. Please don't fall. Okay. It'll be kind of interesting to do. Okay, I gotta put this down somewhere. I'll just hold on to it. Okay, I recently bought this box set, but this is basically Anne Rice's Sleeping Beauty trilogy. Oh, well, it's not trilogy now because she wrote the fourth book, but The Claiming of Sleeping Beauty, Beauty's Punishment, Beauty's Release, and the recent one that she wrote, Beauty's Kingdom. So I bought all four of them, three of them in the box set, and I have yet to read them. But I listened to the first two chapters of the first book via audiobook. And, whew, this is a really steamy book. I thought Fifty Shades of Grey was bad, which right here I have the box set and other stuff. But, yeah, this one, this one was written a long time ago. Uh, she wrote it under another pseudonym, A.N. Rockalore. Um, I think she wrote this in the 80s. The Beauty's Kingdom book, I think it came out 2015 or 2016 or something like that. So, like I said, I've yet to read these books, but I bought them in my book collection. So, there we go. Once again, Fifty Shades of Grey box set. I read all three books. There's a part of me that's regretting that now. I'll get into that some other time. Uh, this was basically Grey, which was Fifty Shades of Grey as told by Christian Grey himself. Uh, doesn't make him any less of a creep, but yeah, whatever. I had that book, too. Shades of Jamie Dornan by Joe Berry. This is basically a book that was written around the time that Jamie Dornan was basically starting to get more and more famous because he was in Fifty Shades of Grey and stuff like that. So that was a pretty good book, too. And that's the Fifty Shades of Grey DVD right there. There's just miscellaneous stuff up here. Um, a couple of word search puzzles here. Uh, regular puzzles up there. That little box there, the white box, that's from Ancestry DNA. I have recently did my DNA, my Ancestry DNA, and got my results. And it was pretty interesting results, to say the least. But, yeah, I'm still a little old me. <laughs> uh, here's a couple of coloring books. Uh, a couple of my bracelets here. 
Uh, this Steve Madden box was actually given to me on my birthday uh, by one of my co-workers. Shout out to her. Um, it's basically like a scarf, a hat. I think it's a Steve Madden clutch purse or something like that. So I just keep it on my bookcase, you know. And those chess sets that I had bought a long time ago that I showed a video about, um, they're on my bookcase too. This little brown case there is dominoes. Uh, and my deck of cards, miscellaneous deck of cards there. I got some Uno cards up there too. Uh, Michael Jackson costume glove from a long time ago. Alright, so that's basically this whole bookcase right here. So, I'll do another tour of the second bookcase. And then that's all she wrote. Peace.